Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Lover's Knot or Josephine Knot bracelet. And it is a very pretty knot. And um, in macrame it's called the Josephine Knot. And as sort of a Celtic knot, it's one of many that would be called a Lover's Knot. So very cute. Um, I have have it here in two bead sizes. So I have here, and I don't have a clasp on this one yet, the um, using 8 seed beads and it's very pretty in 8 seed beads. It's a little chunkier um, but it looks, I think it's lovely in 8 O's. And then I used these um, 2 millimeter Druck beads and these are 2 millimeter round check Druck beads and I totally love it in these beads. I just, they're not as big as an 8 but they're bigger than an 11 and they're round and they, I just think, I love, I think it makes a very pretty delicate um, bracelet. So either way, here's one I did in the bronze and um, this is sort of a marbly color. I'll put all the colors in the description box below the video. And I want to thank you Robin for sending me these beads. Robin sent me these beautiful um, Druck beads because I've never used the two millimeter before. I've used three and four. Um, but uh, never the two and I'm sort of loving this two millimeter bead. The only thing with the two millimeter bead is that when you make this you have to use a very thin thread like a fire line six pound and we'll get to this in the description box and you have to use a size 12 beading needle. So you have to get used to using that size 12 beading needle without bending it which is something that if you're a beginner you should be getting used to is how to use that size 12 beading needle without bending it and you can. I made the whole bracelet without bending it and I'm a needle bender. <laughs> All right, so stick with me. Um, I'll clear the decks and we'll come back and get a materials list going for this bracelet. See you in a few. Okay, so let's get a materials list going. So I'm going to do this in the Druck Beads because we've done the um, Corona Knot bracelet in the Eidos. So you can always refer back to that if you want to use the Eidos. I'll give you amounts and all for the same. So here's the, the Knot ring um, in 11 O's. You can probably even do this in 11 O's. But I wanted to show you how these Druck Beads work. So here they are, actually, and this is the, the dark, um, I think it's dark bronze color. So it's a really, let me see if I can put it in my hand and get a close-up so you can see this. It's just a, oh, there you go. It's a round bead, and it's, you know, it's a little tiny round bead. The only thing is that the holes um, are smaller than an 11 so, so, um, or excuse me, than an 8 so you have to use that size 12 beading needle. And as I say, you need to get used to using that size 12 beading needle. It's very important to you, you know, to have the skills to not bend a size 11 beading, uh, size uh, 10, 12 beading needle. Okay, I'll get it right eventually. Okay, here's my, my contrasting color, and I don't have the name in front of me, but this is a really pretty sort of orchid with a sort of a gold luster on it, or uh, which is very pretty, I think, with the bronze. Okay, so for, you're going to need that size 12 beading needle. There you go. Let me see if I can get my glare off. Ah, there you go. It's a little better. You're going to need 6 pound fire, uh, fire line black satin, um, or I guess regular is fine also, for the, for using the Druck beads. Now, if you're using the 8 seed beads, you can use your wildfire and you can use a size 10 beading needle for the 8 because that, you know, it's a nice big hole in the 8 so You just really need the smaller stuff for these, um, for the Druck beads. So I'll put everything in the description box. You need a clasp, and I'm just sort of sticking with this little two-strand box clasp. I just happen to have a lot of them, so I thought I'd just... And they fit perfectly, but you can use any clasp you like. You can do a, a you know, a crystal and a loop if you want. A cup button, you know, whatever. There's a little stop bead just like that. So that's everything you're going to need. So gather up your materials and let's get started making this bracelet. See you are back. And before we get started, I just wanted to give you some numbers if you haven't done um, any of the knot bracelet, uh, the knot pieces before. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two square stitch pieces and then we're going to knot them together. But in order to accommodate the knot, we have to get a, a particular length. So my six inch bracelet. So my, actually my, the beaded part of my bracelet is going to be six inches. Then you have to take into consideration the clasp. So my clasp, the clasp is going to be all together with putting it on another inch. So I'm going to end up with a seven inch, almost seven inch bracelet. All right. So what you want to do is you want to measure what your center part's going to be without the clasp. Okay. So mine, let's say mine is six inches. And then you're going to add on another 
inch to an inch and a half of beads on either end. So it's more like an inch and a quarter, actually, if I put it this way. All right, so, you know, we can adjust a little bit at the ends. So if it's a little bit long or a little bit short after you knot it, you can always take off a few beads or add a few beads on. But you want to make sure that you your length piece is about an inch and a quarter. Each piece is about an inch and a quarter longer than the beaded part of your bracelet. Okay, so for my six-inch bracelet, I'm using about 95 beads, okay? And if I need to adjust a little bit after I get these pieces knotted together, then I could take off or add on. All right, so that being said, let me just move these out of the way. And what you want to do is thread your needle with... You're going to have to add thread on this one unless you want to put on a, an 8-foot piece of thread. That's an awful lot of thread to be handling. So I would just do four. I'm doing a shorter piece so I can stay in frame. Uh, but add about four feet of fire line. Leave a stop. Put on a stop bead and leave about, leave about a 10-inch uh, tail so we can sew the, the clasp on with one end of the tail. Okay? Or even 12 inches just to give yourself enough. And then add, put on your 95 beads or whatever your number is to get the center portion. Okay, so whatever your number is, put that on. Here's my stop bead, here are my beads. I'm gonna take the contrasting color. I'm just gonna hold this over my finger and if you've done this before, you know where we're going, but if not, I wanna get you started. So I'm gonna pull in. So here we are, here's my thread. I have it wrapped over my finger. These are all my loose beads. You should have like 95 of them or whatever your number is coming out of here. The thread just come around just like that. Add these two beads just like that. So you have coming out of here, come back up these two. So we're just sort of um, putting on a, you know, the first couple of beads just to get it going. So that's what it looks like. Pick up one bead, come down all three, just like that. And you might have to pop it into place and come back up this side. Just like that. And that's what we're going to do for the rest of this, this um, this whole line of beads. We're going to pick up a bead, grab a bead from the loose beads, come down the two beneath it. So you're picking up one, going down three. Let that go into place. And you're coming up three. Just like that. Pick up a bead, grab a loose bead, and come down the two beneath it, just like that. Might have to pop that into place. Coming directly across, you see a thread just about tells you where to go. Come up. Three. Just like that. And, you know, you want to keep this a moderate tension. You don't want to rack it out. You just want to keep it nice and you know, you want to keep it tight, but not, you know, you don't want to over tighten it. So pick up one, grab a loose bead, come down the two beneath it, and then up the three. Just like that. Pick up one, grab a loose bead, come down that one and the two underneath. up the three just like that and that's what you're going to do all the way down all right so just keep doing that it's a little bit um more picky with the these beads and the size 12 beading needle but i think it's really worth a try it's very pretty um so go ahead and you know keep doing that until you get um let's say until you get half your beads on and then meet me back here and we'll continue see you in a few Okay, so I figure at this point you probably run out of thread um, about halfway through if you've done three or four feet of fire line. So I want to just show you how to add a thread onto this. So here, 
I've just um, threaded my needle with the rest with some more fire line wildfire um, if you're using the Eidos. And here's where let's say I've run out of thread. So I'm just going to take my needle and I'm just going to come down. So here, this is where I want to come out right there. So I'm going to come down on the other side, let's say three beads. Just like that. That's going to leave me a tail. Leave your tail to sew in. And then come up. Just come across with your thread just like that. Come up the three on the other side. And just give it a pull. Don't pull too tight because you'll pull it out. You can put a little stop bead there, but I, you know, I think to keep it all even, you don't want to put a stop bead there. Now you have your, your new thread is on and you have these two threads that you'll sew in later. So you're just going to take a bead, grab one loose bead, come down the two underneath, just like that. Come up the three. And be gentle with your size 12 because you can bend it very easily. Come down, pick up a bead, come down, grab a loose bead, come down the two underneath it. Come back up, just like that. Okay, so now I have my new thread on and I can finish all the way to the end. All right, so do that, get all that done, and then you want to make a second piece. So you have to do the second piece. So put on Netflix or whatever you're watching, uh, Amazon Prime <laughs> video, whatever, watch a little Game of Thrones, Outlander, Stranger Things, so you know my uh, TV watching habits now. <laughs> and do a little marathon. It doesn't take long. You really should do this pretty quickly. It's really good practice to learn how to get your beads straight. Cull them a little bit. If a bead looks wonky, don't use it. Uh, so get both strips done, and then maybe back here, and we'll make a knot. See you in a few. We're back, and I have my two pieces done. I think it took me one episode to get them done. <laughs> okay, so here are my two pieces. Let me pull out a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. So now we're going to make this knot, and it's so much easy. It's so easy. It looks complicated, but it's so easy. That's what's so cool about this. It's fast and it's easy. All right, so take one piece and just do that. So oh, wait a minute before we do that. You want the long tail coming out of one end on this side and the other one coming out of this end so you can use those pieces to sew the bracelet together. So make sure you have a tail coming out of one end this way and a tail coming out of this one. So go like this. Don't worry about how perfect the knot is. We're going to play with it. You just want to fold this piece, come around and put it on top of this tail. Looks kind of like a fish. Let me move this side out of the way. And then this piece, take it like this and just put it under the fish body and pull it down about that much. So there's a smaller end here. Come over this part of the fish tail, under this part of the fish tail, just like that. That's what it looks like. So under both over one part of the tail, under the other, over this guy, the bottom part of the body, over, and then under this guy. Just like that. I'll leave it like that. You can pause it, play with it, and you're just going to pull. Ha oh, ha. Look at that. And you have a knot. I'm going to play with the end so everybody's nice and tight. Okay, so that's how you make that knot. How easy is that? I know it doesn't look complicated. I love that it looks so complicated, but it's so easy. All right, so now you just want to play with it a little bit. So I'm going to pull on a teeny bit. So, uh, you know, you want to decide, like, how you want these to sew together. So you notice on this one, I have the black in the middle and the silver on the outside. So I'm just going to, and you notice on this one, I have the bronze here and the, and the, um, the, the sort of orchid color on the outside. So I'm just going to adjust my beads and you just want to just flip them around to where where you want the the um, the bronze or the 
the other color, your contrasting color to come out. So here, see when I've done that, I've kind of, my bronze beads are sort of um, on the outside and here they're definitely on the outside and they, they kind of come together on the inside. Now, if I want the bronze over here, I'm just gonna flip this over like that. Now this knot is not gonna be flat like the um, Corona knot bracelet because it's it's a double you know it's a double knot so it's going to you know you're going to have to play with it a little bit but here so now I have all my bronze on the inside and you know and so it you know just play with it see what you like you can look at this side see how it's a little bit different I kind of like the way the bronze um, looks when it's sort of outlining the inside but you can just do it the opposite any way you like it so go play with that get your knot done play with it and don't worry about um sewing it together we're going to start at the ends and come in and it's going to it's going to just we're going to come in about i think we came in around 20 beads and we're going to leave this part open and and have the knot in the middle all right so get this part done meet me back here and we'll sew together so you're back and I just wanted to give you a little heads up on if you want to adjust your size. So at this point, I'm measuring my bracelet. I my knot. I love my knot. And I come out with about six and a quarter inches. It's going to make my bracelet a little bit long. Now, it depend. It can very well depend on how tightly, I, you know, my how tight my tension was. Maybe it was a little bit looser than this one, so it made my bracelet a little, a little bit longer. So if you want to adjust the size, ha, huh, you're gonna have to take it apart. Okay, so here are your two pieces. Okay, just like that. You know how to make the knot now, so you're good. All right. So here are my pieces, and what you can do. Let me see where do I have a needle attached? This one. Okay. What you can do is come to one end, let me pull this one aside, one end, and let's say I want to take off a few beads. Let's say I want to add on some beads. All right, first let's add on beads. So it's you, you've made yours too short. So take, here's the, the stop bead. Take off the stop bead, add a number of beads onto your thread right here, and then just, you know, continue sewing. So what you'll be doing is adding on to, to the loose beads that, you know, were already here but we just sewed them all in. So here, and then you're going to have your beads here. You'll pick up a bead, you know, and do that same um, procedure that we're doing and add as many as, you, so if you need five, add five on and then sew, you know, add your uh, other color and sew them together. So the, now that's pretty easy. So in order to, to take some beads off, I'm, you see this sort of breath, the, the bridge thread right here, and let me pull in a little bit. This is a little bit more complicated, so what you're going to have to do is pull that, gently pull that thread bridge, that bridge up like this. So when I pull that up, it's going to pull my, my thread through. Here, let me take my needle off. Gently. Okay, so here I'm going to pull the thread, the bridge from the middle, and that's going to release two beads, one of each color. See that? All right, so let me do that again. Here we are. I took my needle off the thread. I'm going to pull up that bridge in the middle, pull, and when I do that, it releases two beads. And, pulls, and I'll pull them off. There you go. I'll do it one more time. Take off your stop bead, pull up the, th the bridge thread in the middle, just like that, and see how it releases two beads. So that way you can remove any beads that you want to remove. All right, so then if I remove, and then pull it, you know, so it straightens out. All right, so get that done and get your lengths correct. Um, so this way you can be really precise on your lengths and then meet me, tie it in a knot again and then meet me back here and we'll sew it together. See in a few. Okay, we're back. And I ended up taking off, I think, four beads from each strand to get my length the way I wanted it. And just a little note, when I was pulling up the, you know, that bridge thread in the middle, I was using a straight pin, one of these ball-tipped straight pins, because you'll bend your size 12 beading needle. So make sure that you, you know, you use a different, you know, a pin to get that up. All right, so let's sew it together. So I've already done this side. So pick up your piece, 
like this. And you have here you have your short thread, which you're going to use to put the clasp on. So just hold that behind you, just like that. And then you have this the long thread with the needle right here. So I'm coming out here. I just want to move my thread to the middle so I can sew these beads together. So I'm coming out of here. I'm just going to come down two. Just like that. And I'm going to come up the two on the other side. Just like that. And then back down this side, the two I was I had gone down, and then two more, so down four. And that's gonna and just give it a pull like that, and it's gonna connect those the two top beads and put me in position to connect the next two. So here I'm coming out of here. It's gonna come up two on this side, just like that. I'm going to come directly across, back through these two and two more, down four, just like that. It's going to set me up to connect the next two on this side. So coming out of this one, just like that, come up. These two come directly across, down, four, just like that. Just make sure you're going through the right beads. Just like that. You can do that again. Up two. That. Come directly across, down four, just like that. And then just keep doing that until you get 20 beads sewn on. I like the look of 20, it leaves a nice little open space on either side of the knot, but you can. Certainly change that if you like. So that's what we're going to do. So do that until you come in your amount and then meet me back here and we'll put the clasp on. See you in a few. So I've gotten 20 beads in on this side and I like the way that opening is. So I just want to show you how to just end this thread. So here you want to make sure you sew this in. So if I pull it, you see what's going to happen. It, it, um, it's going to open. So I've, I've come up my two and then instead of coming down four on this side, I'm just going to come down two and then just back up two. You just so or more, come up four, whatever, um, you know, just to get that tack down nicely. So I came up, my needle just happened to go up a few more beads and then, and then just come up a few more. Just sew around a bit. You can put a knot there. I generally don't like to do a knot on this type of weaving, but um, you can. You can pick up a little end there. I'm just going to sew around this little ending just a few times. Just like that. See, so far I really have looked at that. I haven't even bent my needle. I mean, maybe just like a, a smidgen. All right, so this is how it's going to look when you sew the end in. All right, so get that done on both sides, and then maybe back here and we'll put the clasp on. See you in a few. They're back, and I have both my sides sewn in. Very cute. So I'm going to thread my needle with the tail thread. So this is the shorter tail. And you would just want to get to the end beads. So if you're coming out the center beads, just go this way. Come through two. And come back up this way. Just like that. Now we're ready to put the clasp on. So here's my clasp. I like to keep the clasp together when I sew it. I just start. So here we'll do that. So I'm going to pick up a bronze bead. I'm going to continue, like I see on this one, I, here let me do this side. 
I just continued the the bronze up until the top and then I put the two um, the contrasting color in the middle. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever you like. Alright, so here we go. I picked up a bronze. I'm coming through this little ring at the bottom. Now if your clasp doesn't have that ring in this direction, you can just put a jump ring on here. Very easy to adjust these clasps to um, fit the way you want them to. So I'm just going to take these two. You can put anything on in the middle. You can put a little bicone in there if you want. Maybe a three millimeter. Coming through the other ring, just like that. I'm just doing the simple one. Pick up another bronze. Come through. See, come through two or three. Just like that. And how, see how that just puts it on? Come up. A couple of beads, one bead, two beads. You're just going to work your way to the other end again. Just like this. Then I'm going to come all the way up the side beads. Just like that. Just like that. Through the ring and the two and the other ring. Down these again. And come down a few more this time. If they're getting, if your beads are getting a little full at this point. And then you've got two reinforcements there. If you can do a third, do a third. Here my needle is starting to bend just a teeny bit, but that's not bad for a size 12 beading needle and all this sewing, huh? So if I can do it, you can do it. So then just sew your, your, um, either do it again or sew your threads in. And instead of sewing them in, I would just go through, up and down and up and down, and then I would just clip it off at that point. So get that done, and then meet me back here and we'll look at our bracelets. All right? See you in a few. Okay, before we look at our bracelets, just for those of you who are saying she didn't put the other side of the clasp on, it's really exactly the same. So here, I'm just holding my, I have my thread, and I'm just going to come through the ring. I'm going to put on my two. Come through the other ring. Just like that. See? So you're doing the exact same thing on the other side. Come down. Like so. And now your other, your other side is on. And then sew around. And then meet me back here and we'll look at our bracelets. Okay, we're back, so let's take a look. So here it is. Came out great. It's perfect. It's a good size. Um, you know, I like it. I don't like them super tight, but you can make it tighter or looser, you know, and so that works out really well. So here's the 8-0. I'll just pop that around. I didn't put the clasp on it. Um, so here. So you see, it's just a bigger, it's just a chunkier knot. I mean, I like them both. They're both kind of cool. So if you're sort of a chunkier, um, you know, if you like chunkier jewelry, then, you know, go ahead and use the 8 um, I'm loving the these two millimeter druck beads. So here's everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to show you my needle. Right, let's see. Okay, so this is what my size 12 beading needle looks like after doing the entire bracelet and sewing everything together. Not bad. I think this one's um, due for the the little needle um, toss-away case. So I take all my old needles and I put them... I'll show you. I'm not giving you little tips. Look at this. This is like a, you know, <laughs> these old needles. So I just take every needle that I... That I'm not going to use anymore and this is probably you know months and months worth of needles this is ready to go out so I put them in these cases so they're not just you know in the trash and all um you know loose so I put them in an old <laughs> an old bead tube all right so here you go I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you make this and post it on Facebook lots of fun having fun with knots might do some other knots I'm trying to think of a necklace to get this in necklace form so that might be coming up soon too all right so thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video take care bye-bye